uh, living together totally or in a part of the same period of time, some Brazilian artists reinvented the meaning of community. The idea of community may be compared uh, to that of nation, not only because we have a more accurate sense of intimacy in community, but also uh, through uh, the modes of production that uh, don't lead to national representations. Less than a historical and diachronic approach, I chose the notion of invented skins to discuss aspects of community in some artistic practices in Brazil in the 60s and 70s. Uh, needless to say, is in this approach, it is necessary to present uh, earlier and later aspects such as concrete poetry in the 50s and some artists who lived at the end of dictatorship in the, end, in the period of redemocratization of the country since uh, 1985. By using the term skin as a form of resistance, protection and a manner of action, the fact to be in common became a political and aesthetical event. Uh, through the, in this notion, we show to present some artistic practices uh, in, in this context. Under the years of civil military dictatorship, 1st April 1964 and until 15th uh, March 1985, the sense of community uh, was much more dispersed as the gathering of more than two people was considered uh, a suspicious activity. How could community be reinvented in such uh, a context? Sometimes uh, through a, a piece of paper, by writing letters, by composing songs, or just being abroad, leaving the country, especially in the 60s and 70s. Currently, there is a kind of return of these artists have developed to stay alive and keep producing. Those who succeed certainly have a, a, a dimension of the work and life that deserves this attention. In uh, La Communauté des Ouvres, published in 1986, uh, in, oper in Operative Community by Jean-Luc Nancy, the idea of reinventing community is more precisely uh, defined. Simultaneously, this, de this definition uh, suits our notion of invented skins as, a philo as the philosopher emphasizes community for the simple fact of existence. Quoting him, we are what we share as being or existence. End of quote. Non si errs for the community of existence rather than the essence of community itself. According to him, uh, the community is simply uh, the real position of existence. In short, the community um, is the determinated mood of posing the position. Therefore, by the position, we are more transitive in movement from the position to the exhibition. That, in the French language, is more clear to keep the dynamic between position and exposition. A way to pass from the first person, the pronoun I, to the third person, so the pronouns she, he, and it, without therefore constituting only a strong and abstract or populist we, or more precisely uh, to constitute beings without the weight of an essence in the way that can be considered by ontology. Existence is without essence, wrote Jean-Luc Nancy. That points out a way to uncover beings acting, by, acting in the social space as agents of surfaces. To invent a skin in Brazilian art in, in the 60s and 70s guides us towards this direction. Firstly, uh, what, does, what does it mean to invent a skin in literature and art in Brazil in the 60s and 70s? Secondly, how does the use of the word skin allow us to better understand artistic practices in reinventing community? In the first part, the concept of inventing skins will be developed in three levels. 
as a phenomenological meaning, as a philological turning point, and as a procedural concept, meaning uh, procedures of work, literature, poetry, and visual arts. In 1959, in Brazil, neo-concretism was a movement that had often been associated with phenomenology due to the fact that several artists tried to override the divisions of artistic production such as painting, sculpture, or installation. And at the end of the 60s and in the early of 70s, uh, artists such uh, as Elio Oiticica, uh, Ligia Clark, and, or Ligia Park created new schemes combining uh, social structures and psychological dynamics. Uh, this way of inquiring the social and psychological and plastic space is well linked with performance and poetry. Some years before, in 1966, concretism was a movement which reconceptualized poetry as a graphic object. Uh, I just have one, one image here from Augusto de Campos. Uh, as a graphic object, even though the written text was also essential. But this community of poets, critics, and translators contributed to a new perception of words in spaces beyond the book form. That is the reason why we explore scheme uh, from a philological framework. There is a, a performative dimension in poetic texts, uh, voice, and colors that contributed to the expansion of literature in the social space. As we shift in our focal point to the medium or which writing is produced, paper, paintings, objects, skin as a medium can also become a reinvented space for community. The space that puts uh, the paints in common. Skin assembles at the same time notions such as form and feeling, usually, usually used to divide concrete from new concrete artists. While form was more rational and constructive for concrete artists, new concrete artists were more sensitive. However, that division, rational and sensitive, doesn't work anymore to divide these movements. Both concrete and new concrete movements are necessary to renew forms of thought and of feeling community. The fact that there are aesthetic and political points of disagreement is nonetheless important to, to, to the community dimension. For new concretism, for example, the critic uh, Mario Pedrosa was uh, a key actor. Pedrosa contributed to the notion of community of artists developing uh, affective forms of art. According to him, uh, the sensor fields are also objects of aesthetic investigation beyond visual, the auditory, the tactile, and let us add the olfactory. Any research that does not propose a breaking down um, of the boundaries, of the trickinesses of the present, in any field cannot be considered innovative. This perspective opens the possibility of a more concrete analysis of the invention of surfaces and its uh, meaning for the community experience artists in Brazil. Community could be read in two ways. How Brazilian art history presents those artists and how they can be arranged by other sensitivities such as the skin, and the concept of invention of a skin. Uh, in general, inventing a skin is an exercise of observation, allowing us to consider the materiality of the artworks and teaching us to arrange and rearrange texts, objects, performance, and images in a critical manner. Usually, skin is associated with surface, therefore, this is a good starting point to discuss surface in terms of phen phenomenology. Phenomenologically speaking, inventing a scheme alludes to a sensitive or a carnal knowledge to put in the words of a new materialism as proposed by Stelle Barrett and Barbara Bolt. 
It also means that we need to pay attention to the movements of color and their relationship with spaces and bodies. As I mentioned before, a new concretism has been a movement often associated with phenomenology because several artists tried to override material mechanisms of artwork. They put the emphasis on the experience itself, that is to say, experience of color, ex uh, experience of, of bodies, and the relationship with social space. Thus, these two terms, experience and relationship, uh, are essential in understanding different kinds of surface embodied by new concretism and how to be in common. They embody the being in common and the use of phenomenology by these artists was efficient because it allowed them to produce connections with some social phenomena in Brazil. The dimension of community in terms of position and disposition of artists liberates us uh, to create pairs and dynamics between artists such as Edward Sika and Lydia Clark. The exchange of letters between these two artists in, in a case, is a case of invent, reinvention of community. Out of their country, this duo of artists performed as a satellites meeting people, arranging space to expose sometimes mobile works with, with precarious or psychic materials, such as the work of Lisha Clark, who, on her last works, didn't even want to call her works art. In terms of Sueli Ronique, um, Clark, who liberates uh, the aesthetic realm from it, its confinement in a specialized sphere to convert it into a dimension of everyone's existence by making life itself a work of art. The experience of existence was decisive. From uh, moving from Lisa Clark to Edward Sika, and then I, I'm showing you a, a photo uh, taken by uh, uh, the Brazilian anthropologist Eduardo Figueiredo de Castro. Uh, moving from Lisa Clark to Edward Sika, how could Edward Sika connect painting to music and space if it were not connected with all his experiences in favelas in Rio de Janeiro. With the movements of body, they are not just living their lives, walking up and down the hills of Mangueira. With this rhythm, he, he went to beyond the bidimensional painting. He called this new art form parangolé. From this slang word describing social phenomena to invent a skin could be linked with the philological turning point. The parangolé, and then I'm just one more, some, some pictures from the Pedro de Castro, but going, moving to the images, to, to the word parangolé, going to the dictionary. Uh, the Parangolé by Edward Sika is an art form strongly inspired by a social phenomena like samba. For the artist, dancing samba was inseparable from Parangolé because this allowed him to find a solution to not be as intellectual as before. However, in his diary published by Luciano Figueiredo, Luisa Bar, and Wally Salomão, uh, we can read theoretical no notes, notes on color, body, and space. Monica Emmer, in Theories of Non-Object, claims to say the word parangolé lacks a, a precise meaning. To quote her, the writer Wally Salomon, a friend of Uchi Sika, noted that the term was slang for the favela and had multiple meanings like what's going on, what's up, and what's the deal. Huaz attributes on a certain etymology to this word, but he explains that, is, uh, that it was a local and informal use in Rio de Janeiro, which means a conversation with neither head nor tail, unattractive, which guides to nowhere, dishonest, uh, concluding 
trying to mislead someone uh, and uh, uh, roguery, craftiness, cleverness, a guy full of parangolé. <laughs> when we pay attention to the meaning of parangolé, we have a sort of constellation of senses that, that makes a new surface that we look at Wojciechowski's work. In other words, uh, this can be perceived as a culture of skin, and furthermore, this can be linked with, to the seminal text on Brazilian literature. Um, I would like to refer to the Dialectics of Roguery from 1970 by Antonio Cândido, in which he identifies the figure of the rogue as a central character in the Brazilian literary imagination. This text provides us with a useful prism through which to read Oiticica's work. In addition, we could analyze Oiticica's work from this point of view, that is to say, the philological term, a skin, can also be created with movements of readings from the signified parangolé to the signified roguery, allowing us to web a skin word by word. Therefore, Another way to discuss these issues will be presented in, in the third part of this presentation, the, proced the procedure, the processual use of the invented skin. Understanding the idea of invention of a skin and the reinvention of a community puts in common what the history of Brazilian literature and art tend to separate. Movements, static currents uh, divided by periods and influence that I would like to keep here uh, together. In conclusion, I would like to mention one last example, uh, and then I'm, I'm moving to, to Ligia Papp. Ligia Papp, she created a concept from ephemeral interactions in urban spaces such as the actions of the street artists and the street vendors. They come out and lay out all the objects to sell on the sidewalk, yelling, sometimes in, in unbalanced speech, and then they attract the people to buy something. Once they finish, they leave. Lija Pap called this action magnetized space. This invincible skin or an endless sky, uh, in the terms, in the words of the artist, comes uh, from the daily life actions of people who use the street to earn some money. This portrays the suburban uh, or in downtown life in Brazilian metropolises. Artists and vendors use the voice and gestures such as skins, keeping this invisible space between, uh, between the spontaneous public and the artist or vendor. Another, uh, another main work, and then we have here some examples from uh, this uh, work uh, from Ligia Papp. And another main work by Ligia Papp is uh, Divisor uh, from 1967-1968. In a huge piece of white fabric, numerous people the public itself, in fact, are invited to participate in this big, white, collective body moving through the public space. Divide and keep it united. Probably that could be a way to reinvent community. Finally, these three modes uh, of interpret interpreting uh, invented scheme that I proposed here, phenomenologically, philologically, and processually, are not so unconnected from some practices of reinventing community by different levels or rhythms of existence, with a lot of goings and comings. There is just one way of reading the dynamic in this dynamic uh, in the Brazilian art from the second half of the 20th century and the earliest years in the 21st. Different manifestations of surface and manners to invent uh, a skin have taken place thanks to uh, names like, and then I just uh, pass a little bit fast, but uh, we can discuss later, Arthur Bispo do Rosário and his embroidery and mantle, uh, Mira Schendel and her monotypes and the limits of writings, 
Miguel Rio Branco and the Skins, Scars, Photographies, uh, Leon Nilsson, and then more Scars, but in, 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 in the fabric, uh, and Rosângela Pinot and the Surface of the Ar Archive. Nuno and, uh, and, and other example, Nuno Ramos and the multiple skins in performance, paintings, drawings, in literature, or finally, Ricardo Aleixo and his experience with body, writing, and voice. Aleixo's performance, Poemanto, uh, po Poemanto it's one, one, just one word he, that he created, creates uh, new relations uh, with all the procedures mentioned before. He moves, he moves as Eroticicas Parangolés, with the difference that Poemanto uh, or Poemanto uh, has only black and white colors. Broadly speaking, that has a political meaning with all the violence suffered by Brazilian Afro descendants. Aleixo's perspective of community is also linked with countless descendants of slaves who, he, uh, who have a red diet. This included his genealogy of the poet himself. For example, uh, I have just one piece of him uh, here to, to we can uh, uh, quickly uh, listen. Uh, in the poem, rats can think like humans, uh, how to spot in exactly humans. Aleixo takes an ensemble uh, newspaper headline, uh, rats can think like humans, and asks um, his five years old daughter, who was just learning to read, uh, to say this headline. And he also asked his mother, who was suffering from Alzheimer's, to do the same. And finally, after reading this, uh, this record, uh, we just need to, to probably... This, this, this kind of collage, montage, it's a kind of a fragile, fragile community connecting people who is just uh, coming to literally to life and then people who is living. So it's a, a, a wonderful piece from uh, Ricardo Aleixo. And to come back to the poem mantle, the black fabric and the white text are moved by the body and the voice, singing, reciting, saying the words. Aleixo creates a kind, of, a kind of magnetized space. That is to say, a skin has a sense of procedures because by an ensemble of textualities, poetry is a complex structure involving photography, performance, radio art, books, exhibitions, cultural journalism, cultural traditions, gestures, dance, and mainly voice. Voice uh, is a phonic scene in the words of the Italian philosopher uh, Emanuele Coccia and the sensible life. 
practically speaking, invented skins can be regarded as a kind of stage of reflection with contemporary Brazilian artists and writers. And then I'm just finishing now with uh, a project uh, that I, 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 I'm, I'm working on in, uh, in, in Cabaret Hotel here in Zurich from the past three years. It, it, it is a way to continuously invent skins for everything to, as wrote the artist Nuno Ramos and as a project this practice uh, is connected with the Centro Concurso com Cultura Teori in which we have invited some Brazilian artists uh, and writers to give lectures and to performance practicing literature in an expanded field uh, he, um, and Veronica Stiger, Nuno Ramos, Chacal, Ricardo Domenech, Ajo de Carvalho, Simone Homem de Mello and Ricardo Alejo himself contributed highly to this reflection. And then, uh, to, to, to conclude, now, uh, probably that it's a way to, to, to try to, to reinvent community. Uh, in, in this time, so keeping connection, so trying to, to have an, a, real, a real exchange with these writers uh, from, from, from Brazil here in Zurich. And thank you for your attention.